Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for September 14th is, We Like Traveling. We visited many countries in exotic places. We enjoy travel and find that the culture of any country is a function of the mores and values of the indigenous people who populate that geographic region. Each culture is a microcosm of the attributes of a region, its past history, climate, influences, and religion. Men are in spiritual limbo between what is thought to be true and real truths of the Most High God. Each person with their acquired beliefs from parental and cultural teachings, experiences, or revelation of the truth of God acquired from instruction of the Holy Spirit and study of the written living word of God is on a journey from the nowhere of life apart from God, a, a spiritual desert, uh, toward the presence of God or the bottomless pit of death, which is eternal separation from God. In this body of flesh, we are not cut off from the life-giving power of God, but are cut off from approaching him in the Holy of Holies. Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, who sees God face to face. In the veil of flesh, we can approach him in his mercy to receive eternal life via salvation through the crucifixion and resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He sits at the right hand of the Father. He prepared the way for us to join him in eternal life and victory over all that comes between us and the only source of life, the Most High God in his Son, Jesus Christ. We journey together in this life. Each of us travels with our Lord God, who through his Holy Spirit walks and talks with us along the way. Eve and I like traveling together in this world. We love traveling with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, also on our way to life everlasting in that world to come, world without end. The blessings of the Most High God be with you. Kohane. When you have the comfort and peace of knowing that you're in the safe, secure hands of the Most High God, uh, life is, is good. And it's good to walk and talk with the woman or the man that you love. Um, for the ladies, uh, your husband, and for the men, your wife. Let's give thanks for what God has done what he continues to do, and for the plan, the eternal plan that he had when he made uh, uh, Adam and Eve. And, uh, and when he saved uh, Noah, his wife, their three sons and their wives in the flood. Well, let's be grateful. And I'm going to sing a song, an old song, by Hank Lachlan. Let me be the one. Let, let me be the one to walk with you when you need somebody to talk with you. Anything that makes you happy, I want to. Oh, darling, let me be the one. Let me be the one who means the most. The one you want to love, call your own. When you choose your partner, I want to be the choice. Oh, please let me be the one. Let me be the one to sit with you. Just what to do. Lots 
lots of lots of hugging and a kiss or two. You've got to let me be the one. Let me be the one to take you out to your favorite places. You have no doubt. When the evening's gone, we kiss goodnight. Oh, please let me be the one. Let me be the one to share with you all your little pleasures and sorrows too. In all kind of weather, I want to be with you. Oh, please let me be the one. Let me be the one to hold your hand when the preacher says, Happy thoughts will mean so much fun If only let me be the one Let me be the one to walk with you When you want somebody to talk with you Anything that makes you happy, I want to do Oh darling, let me be the one Oh darling, let me be be everything to the person you love. That's a sure sign of love. That's the way it ought to be. Well, praise the Lord. Thank you for the time we spent together today. May everything that you think, say, do, and are be, ha be pleasing to the Most High God. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll be with you again tomorrow.